Hey, this is Joel, and I'll be doing a video about the, uh, about the, uh, blah, 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 blah. about the DVS Mikey Taylors. <laughs> These ones are a black leather. I skated them for about two weeks. Um, see the right shoe and the left shoe. The reason why I stopped skating these is because the ankle protection just sucks because I twisted my ankle. I think I was just doing like a, yeah, I was just doing like a trick on a flat bar and landed kind of funky, yunky, and twisted my ankle, which didn't feel too pleasant. Uh, other than that, these shoes are all right. Like, they have all right board fill, even though they're vulcanized, as you can see, like, vulcanized outsole, 400 MBS grip, very flexible, but they take a little bit to break in, because they're leather, but that also makes up for, like, durability. They have some, like, hidden lace loops, which is pretty nice. So, it's my right shoe. Did some switch in these. Something I really like about these shoes is that they come with bruise control. As you can see, more cushion for the push-in. That's something I really like about these. But if these shoes were a mid-top, like about yay high, and nice and thickly padded around the collar and in the tongue, like the tongue, it's like thinnish, like, yeah, on the thin side padded. If it was more of a thicker padded with a vulcanized outsole and the bruise control technology and a mid top, these, these right here, the, these here would be some really excellent shoes. But they're a low top and I would recommend skating these with like ankle guards and stuff <laughs> if you have them because... I don't know, I just like twisted my ankle super easily in these. And it didn't feel too pleasant, but durability wise, yeah, I just have to say they're pretty durable because they're black leather and I skated these for a few weeks. So, and that's all the wear, like nothing. Skated them pretty hard too when I skated them at the point. Um, 400 NBS grip is always good. So. Might as well just give them a try because that black hole boards are on sale for like 28 bucks if they still have them because that's when I got them. I got them for like 28 bucks. Always get shoes and decks that are on sale. Don't be a fool because you know they're not going to last really long except if you have some really huge bulky shoe like I'm about to do in my next video. I'm make a video about the uh, DV. I might as well just make it now and just add on with this video. <laughs> Shot live. Okay. I, I forget how long I skated these, but they're a cup sole, but surprisingly for, never mind, they're not really that flexible. <laughs> I'm like used to just picking up a shoe like the 8-tracks I'm wearing right now, the Cirque 8-tracks. I love these. This is my th second pair of these. If I were to get another pair, yes, I definitely would. These are, I'm so used to filling shoes and just going like, oh man, look how flexible that is, you know? But I pick a I pick up a cup sole shoe and it's like, <laughs> which to me is kind of annoying. But these shoes do make up for protection. Nice and thick, like, well to me medium padded collar. I didn't roll my ankles or anything in these. These are I like the <laughs> I'm liking the collar on these and. The tongue as well, it's nice and thick. What I think that they need to do is make a nice thick upper with a vulcanized outsole, and that would be the number one shoe to get. Definitely. These, I uh, can't remember how long I skated these, but I can already tell you one thing. Triple stitch toe cap with the type of suede this is. This is a heavy duty suede. They are very durable, that I can guarantee. So I scared them for a while and that's all the wear and tear they got. So, yeah. 
I recommend these if you're the type of person that cup soles don't bother you because they sure bug the crap out of me. Because I can't fill the board and therefore my board ends up going because I can't land properly. And I end up landing too hard because I have no fill for the board. So, yeah, I think, yeah, every, just about every deck I broke, I was wearing, like, cup sole shoes. Interesting. I think I see a little trend going on there in the um, statistics of board breaking um, uh, moments that sucked really badly. Yeah. So, if you're looking for something that's going to last, might as well get the DVS Legions. Oh, yeah, I got these on sale, too. They were like 40 bucks, I think, when I got them. Yeah, I think I got these like back in 09, but I skated them off and on. Um, probably for about a month total. And that's all the wear they got. So, yeah, you might as well try them if you're looking for something that's going to last.